Hi Ola, I'm Shubham from Informatica GCS team. In this video, we'll see how we can create go-to tables from uh, infra mappings. So this is the agenda for uh, this video. We'll see a uh, quick uh, go-to overview and then we'll see a demo. So in my last video, as uh, I have already shown that uh, go-to provides a combination of fast and inserts updates. So basically it's a uh, columna storage manager which uh, is developed by apache haru platform and uh, we can use power exchange for kodu to connect to kodu from informatica and then we can use kodu objects as our targets and then we can write data into kodu objects we can validate and run mappings in uh, spark execution so you can refer uh, this uh, guide to learn more about kodu connection properties now let's see a quick demo so i'll just uh, see how we can create uh, kodu mappings uh, how we uh, and then how we can create kodu tables uh, using i'll just run a simple hive to kodu mapping uh, which will create a kodu table and then we'll see by using list command from uh, kodu cli So I have logged into my uh, developer client and uh, I'll show you which connection I'm using uh, for my Kudu. So, so I'll use this connection which I showed in you in, in the last video as well. So this is the connection which I'm using. So uh, let's create a new mapping here before that uh, let's create a new hive object so this is my uh, hive cli and i'll create a uh, table So I'm creating a hive table which is having uh, two columns and uh, let me insert some data into it. So my hive table has been completed and I'll uh, it's created and uh, I'll just uh, use this as a source in my mapping. This will be hive connection. So this is my hive table kodu underscore demo which we have created i'm just importing this one finish so we'll use this uh, table in our mapping as a source so i'll create a new mapping let's say go to demo use this as a source and then we'll just create target and here we will give others and kudu 
let's say the name of my target kodu object is kodu demo1 and we'll click on finish We are seeing the target here. Let's go to target data object. So here we need to make one column as the primary key. So we'll go to overview and then we'll go to columns. Uh, let's say I'm creating ID as my primary key. So I'll just save this. I'm just specifying the same uh, same connection which I am using for Kudu and I'll save this. Here in runtime, I'll select Spark as the execution engine. We'll provide the connection. Let's try to validate this mapping. So here it's validates successfully. Now let's try to uh, execute this mapping. So I'm just running this mapping. And now the mapping is running. So now we can see that our mapping has completed successfully. So uh, let's go to our Cloudera manager to see uh, the Kudu table. If we are able to list it. So here uh, I'm into my Cloudera manager and let's go to Kudu. And here we can go to Kudu master web UI. Here we can go to tables. So here we can see that uh, kudu underscore demo one table is present. So if you want to uh, check the same, uh, you, you can refer the command uh, command line reference as well. So this is the command line reference for uh, kudu, and here we have one command for listing kudu tables as well. So this is the command kudu table list master addresses. So let's just run this command to see to list this table so i have just uh, run the command go to table list and master addresses and we can see the go to underscore demo one table is present here that's all for the video that's all for the demo We would love to hear from you. You can send a mail at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can tweet at twitter.com infosupport. Thank you.